Tim Wallace is one of the greatest automotive photographers of our time, and I'm a huge fan. From Aston Martin to Ferrari and McLaren, Tim has created some of the most breathtaking images of supercars I have ever seen. Well, I'm no Tim Wallace, but I wonder if I can create something similar with a toy car. Hi everybody, I'm Kirsten Nuts and you're watching Platypod TV, brought to you by Platypod, where innovation never sleeps. And in today's video, I'll pull back the curtain on how you can transform model cars into stunning images from lighting setups to lens choice and adding those final touches in Photoshop. Plus, I've got a nifty tip to make sure your car is in focus all the way. So make sure you stick around for that little nugget of wisdom. All right, buckle up folks. Today's star is the rad 118th scale model of a 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1. I've got a soft spot for muscle cars and this bad boy is like the daredevil of automobiles. With its distinctive sleek and timeless design, the Mustang has become a symbol of automotive excellence and a cultural icon. Also, it's orange. What more do you want? It is mutiny, vindictive, insane at his base. The side shot. Let's kick things off by taking a peek at the setup and the essential lighting arrangement of my first side on shot. Placing my Mustang on a black textured tile, I fashioned an infinity curve with a piece of flexible black cardboard. For that dreamy soft glow on the Mustang, I've hung two LoomCube Panel Pro LED lights from a backdrop crossbar using platypod elbows and mini clamps. To keep them in sync, I've linked them with a quarter inch cross nut adapter, giving me the freedom to maneuver the lights and sculpt the perfect highlights on my scale model car. Softening the light, I've employed a diffuser from a five-way reflector kit, cleverly mounted on two Platypod Ultras, complete with Platypod handles, elbows, and clamps. This setup lets me effortlessly tweak the diffuser's angle, directing the light precisely where needed. As for illuminating the background, another Panel Pro set to 10% takes the stage, perched on a Platypod Extreme with a gooseneck. I've strategically weighed down the Platypod enabling me to finesse the light's position and cast some subtle spills on the backdrop. Camera settings. Now let's dive into the nitty gritty of my camera settings. For this session, I've opted for a Sigma 105 macro lens, maintaining my aperture in the sweet spot between f8 and f11 for that razor sharp focus. The shutter speed is set at 1 6th of a second paired with ISO 200. Keeping it super low and stable, I've gone for the direct approach. Mounting my camera on a Platypod Extreme using a Platypod disc. No ball head necessary here. The three quarter. Here's another classic in the world of car photography the three quarter shot. This perspective showcases both the frontal features and the side profile, a staple in the automotive photography playbook. The lighting setup mirrors the side on shot with a slight tweak in angling the diffuser to create a delightful reflection on the windshield. Feel free to experiment with different angles until you discover the sweet spot for your setup. To add some intriguing light to the background, I've brought in a loom cube and jury rigged a snoot out of a cardboard roll and some trusty gaffer's tape. I then added a flag to the back of the key light to shape some of the light hitting the backdrop. Now this shot has one challenge though, depth of field. Ensuring the entire car remains crisply in focus is crucial. Given that I'm working with a macro lens, I'll spill the beans on how to conquer this hurdle using the stacked focus technique in the editing section of this video a bit later on, so stay tuned. The top down. Now let's explore our third and final image, a detailed top-down shot of the car's hood. This time, my camera is positioned above the car, roughly at a 45-degree angle pointing downward. Behind the car, I've mounted the panel pros to provide a captivating backlighting effect. A carefully angled scrim above the Mustang bathed in beautiful soft light. Additionally, on the right side of the camera, I've strategically placed a white reflector to bounce some light against the car's grille and a black flag underneath to shape the shadows on the ground. And to nail the shot, I'm once again employing the focus shift technique. The mystery of focus stacking. All right, let's demystify the magic behind achieving sharpness throughout an image when simply dialing in a smaller aperture falls short. The secret weapon is called focus stacking. Here's the lowdown. I set my camera to capture a series of shots, each with a distinct focus point. Easy peasy. 
I'll just tap into my camera's menu and engage the focus shift function for Nikon or focus bracketing for Canon, well, same thing, different names. I orchestrate my camera to snap 23 images, shifting focus from the front to the rear, ensuring every nook and cranny of the car body is tack sharp. Now let's hop over to the computer where I'll guide you through effortlessly merging these images in both Photoshop and Lightroom. First stop, Lightroom. I import the images, select the shots to combine, then head to the edit menu, opting for the open as layers in Photoshop magic trick. In Photoshop, I ensure all my images are perfectly aligned with a swift auto align layers move in the edit menu. Once that's squared away, it's back to the edit menu for the grand finale, auto blend layers. Voila, the layers meld into one, leaving you with a single shot where the entire car is in razor sharp focus. Usually this does the trick, but hey perfectionists, don't worry, you can always fine tune with layer masks at this juncture. Once the final composite gets a thumbs up from you, carry on with the finishing touches in both Photoshop and Lightroom. Easy as pie, right? And there you have it folks, the behind the scenes journey of turning a toy car into a photographic masterpiece. From mastering the side on shot lighting to capturing the three quarter shots perfect angles, focus stacking and diving into the top down details, we've covered it all. Do you think I did Tim Wallace justice? Well, let me know in the comments. If you're hungry for more insights into the world of car photography, check out my podcast, The Camera Shake Podcast, where I've delved into a detailed conversation with the world leading car photographer, Tim Wallace, and find out the secrets behind his incredible images. And if you haven't hopped on the Camera Shake podcast train yet, well, seriously, what are you waiting for? Find me on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever awesome podcasts live. All the links are waiting for you in the description below. As per the usual drill, share a snapshot of your setup or flaunt your final shots on Instagram. Whether you're experimenting with Platypod gear or putting our lighting setups to the test, I want to be part of your creative journey. Tag Platypod on Instagram and use the hashtag PostMyPlatypod. And hey, if this video hits the right chords with you, well, there's a special button just for you right here. Join the vibrant community over on Facebook to catch up on what other Platypod users are cooking up and hit the bell to stay in the loop with our regular videos. That wraps it up for today, my friends. Keep those creative juices flowing and I'll catch you in the next installment. Happy creating.